Hello friends, welcome to Pradeep's tutorial. Today our topic is Node versus NPM. I've seen many times people, they, they have learned Angular, they have learned React, they are already working on that, but they are not clear about Node and NPM. They have installed it, but still they have doubts about Node. Is this similar? They have, run, they have run so many times NPM install, but they are not clear about all these concepts. So just to clear this concept, I have taken node versus npm. Sometimes people say things is very similar, but the inside knowledge of node and npm is not there. So let's try to understand. So let's take a definition of node.js. Node is an open source server environment. Node.js is free. Node.js runs on various platform. Node.js uses JavaScript on the server. So from all this definition, I hope it is still not clear to you guys. Node.js is free, that is absolutely fine. Node.js is open source, Node.js run on various platform, that is fine. But now try to understand this fourth statement. Node.js uses JavaScript on the server. So if, if I know JavaScript is a browser language, but Node.js is doing something different for us. Node.js making JavaScript a server-side programming. How? Let's try to understand with this statement. Node.js is a JavaScript runtime environment. Just hold for a second and think. In Java, we have JRE and JRE is Java runtime environment. So Node.js is something similar. Okay, let's move on the next slide and try to understand from Java point of view. Now just compare Java with JavaScript. So in Java also, we have something very similar structure. Let's try to understand JavaScript Node.js from Java point of view. So if I make a diagram, we have a JVM. What JVM does? JVM converts Java programming to a machine code. And with some libraries, JRE run it for us. Now if we see from the JavaScript point of view, we have a V8 engine here. What V8 engine does? Just think about that. JavaScript run on a browser. So how browser run browser understand JavaScript? So for that we need some interpreter which will convert that JavaScript code to a machine code so that browser can understand. And for that we need V8 engine. There are a lot of engines are there, but the most popular one is V8 engine. And now with that API and modules, Node.js provides a runtime environment, something very similar like JRE. So now try to understand Node.js definition. Node.js came into existence when JavaScript extended from something you could only run in the browser to something you could run on your machine as a standalone application. Now it's not limited. Now JavaScript is not limited till browser. It is something you can run your in your physical system. That is really interesting. And this is only possible through Node.js. JavaScript now has the capability to do things that other JavaScript language like Python can do. Both your browser JavaScript and Node.js run on V8 JavaScript runtime engine. This engine takes your JavaScript code and convert it into a faster machine code. Machine code, I hope this is clear. Machine code is low level code, which the computer can run without needing to first interpret it. Now why Node.js? Why we need Node.js? Let's see, Node.js uses asynchronous programming. What it mean? What, what do you mean by synchronous programming and what do you mean by asynchronous programming? So asynchronous is something where we are not waiting for the response. Asynchronous is I've sent one request to the backend and I'm waiting for that and then I'll process next request only once I get the response from the backend. But in case of asynchronous, I'll send a request and I'll not wait for the response. I'm, I'm ready to serve the next request. Let's try to understand with some definition here. So send the task to a computer file system. Wait while the file system opens and reads the file. Return the content to the client ready to handle the next request. So this is this looks like very lengthy process. We have to wait for so many time. If you see with the diagram, client is sending a request to the server. 
and then it is waiting for server to process it. And then once the response came, it is ready to serve the next request. But in the case of Node.js, it is little different. There, a client sent a request to the server and it is still ready to serve the next request and it's sent to the server. But the first process is still working on. Now see with the definition. Here is how Node.js handles the file request. Send the task to the computer file system, ready to handle the next request. When the file system has opened and read the file, the server returns the content to the site. So it's not waiting, it's serving. So first request came, it's sent to the backend, and again it is ready to serve the next request. Node.js eliminates the waiting and simply continue with the next request. This is really fast, right? With the asynchronous programming? Yes. Okay. Till here, we have done Node.js. If it is still not clear, you can put in a comment section. Probably we can answer on that. Now see NPM. So my topic is actually to make you clear what is Node and what is NPM. What is the difference? So now if I see from the Node.js point of view, Node.js is a, is a JavaScript runtime environment. But NPM is a package manager. Typically, this software is installed to build Node applications. It lets you install software, libraries, plugins, frameworks, and applications. Now, and if you see from the Java point of view, there is something very similar. What is that? That is actually Maven. So Maven and NPM both are same? No, both are not same, but both are very similar. So like in Java, Maven creates a package for us, Maven to the install, Maven install all the dependencies for us, right? So if you see, in Maven, we have a pom.xml where we write all the dependencies and when we run Maven clean install, it installs all the dependencies required for our application. Same way, in case of NPM, we have a package.json and we mention all the dependencies here. And when we run npm install, it download all the dependencies and it create a package for you. Hope till here it is clear. So npm is something a package manager. Node.js is something which is provide a JavaScript a runtime environment. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.